Hey guys, so, oh, it's starting to rain. Um, something kind of exciting, a uh, couple weeks ago, or not a couple weeks ago, uh, last week, uh, you may have seen the eBay auction of a gentleman that was selling uh, the estate of a former Deke employee, um, and that included a bunch of uh, pre-production stuff from the Mario Brothers show, um, and some, uh, pitch documentation for Power Hour shows that never were, like, uh, Metroid and Castlevania and Rad Racer and all this stuff. Um, and those prints sold, uh, for quite a bit of money. The one that I was interested in, he actually relisted, he had another one, uh, relisted it by itself, and I, I was able to pick it up, and that was the Metroid pitch. Uh, which was a little bit more special than the others because uh, either because of an executive decision or because artist was not uh, well informed of the property, he illustrated, or they illustrated, uh, Samus as a man, uh, which piqued my interest as just being kind of an oddity, and you know, that's the stuff that I really like to collect. Um, so it turns out that the guy uh, is local. He's about 25, mi uh, 25 minutes away. And so I hit him up and I was just like, hey, I'd really like to come pick up the print. Uh, additionally, I, um, you know, I'm into this, uh, archeo you know, video game archeology span and preservation. And so I'd love to do some footage on, on the stuff that you have and hear your story and et cetera, et cetera. And he said, sure. So I am grabbing coffee and then I am on my way over to uh, kind of interview this guy. I know he said that he isn't interested on being uh, being on camera, so uh, you won't see much footage of him because, as you know, I'm very respectful of that. Uh, but uh, I'm hoping to uh, be able to show you, show you guys some cool stuff and um, and maybe pick up some stuff. I don't know what he's got. He said he has some extra. He has some other stuff that he's going to list on eBay. So uh, at the very least, I'll be able to take a look at that before, you, and so you guys will be able to see it before it's listed, um, and we'll see what happens. One. Okay, so through the magic of video editing, we're back in the game room, and before I go over what I saw today, I wanted to give a little bit of context. Seller had posted some uh, production material from Deke, uh, which is the defunct animation house that uh, that did the uh, Mar Super Mario Brothers cartoon in the uh, in the 90s. And while he didn't really want to be on camera, I did want to talk a little bit about who he is and how he came across this collection. I just want to get some baseline stuff out of the way so that when I'm narrating over the following video that I don't have to take up all this time explaining context and I can just get into what I'm showing. Uh, so this guy was not a gamer really, uh, or a, a collector of video games. What he is, is an estate sale guy. So he goes uh, from estate sale to estate sale within the area, really looking for anything to to uh, to flip. So, you know, he described this as the find of the century for him. And, you know, he, when he picked it up, he didn't even know anyone would be interested until his find started uh, garnering attention from larger uh, digital media outlets like Kotaku. So taking two steps back, if you aren't familiar with the recent story, the piece from this collection that ended up being uh, covered by the media the most was this. Uh, it is a uh, concept piece from a failed pitch document uh, in which the uh, studio was being pitched games for the Super Mario Brothers Power Hour. So for instance, when Zelda was paired with Super Mario Brothers on Fridays, uh, they were looking for other properties to then also pair with Super Mario Brothers. So this was their pitch image for Metroid, and either due to the studio making an executive decision that they wanted to pitch the property as a male property, because that's what they did in the 80s and 90s, or the artist was just ill-informed and rendered Samus as a man instead of a woman, uh, this image was the final image pitched to Deke. Obviously, in uh, a modern standard, this wouldn't fly at all, so it really started to garner attention when it was discovered on eBay. So that image in particular, he had a couple copies of. Uh, the original uh, one on eBay sold with three other images for Castlevania, 
uh, California games, Metroid, and Double Dragon, and uh, and that sold for a little over a thousand dollars. Then a couple days later, he listed a second image of just the the Metroid imagery, which is the one I was interested in anyway, uh, and I was able to acquire that. Uh, when I did that, um, I noticed that he was local, uh, about 20 miles away from me. So I hit him up and I was just like, hey, uh, can I come over and at least come over and just pick up my, uh, my auction uh, locally so that we don't have to ship it. Um, but you know, I also have this YouTube channel. I would love to you know, cover everything else that you found because he had mentioned in an email that he had found a considerable amount of material. Uh, and he said, sure. So uh, the footage that follows is me at the gentleman's apartment. The footage is not amazing, uh, only because it was just my cell phone on a tripod, and uh, I was trying not to be too pushy or obnoxious. I didn't want to get thrown out. I, did, I wanted to be invited back if the opportunity presented itself. So uh, this is really just me casually uh, going through this pile of stuff that he got from this estate sale. Um, going back to the gentleman uh, that had passed away, he was apparently a like a low-level employee from Deke, and uh, was instructed to destroy a bunch of material, and he decided not to. Uh, that I think is a is a very uh, repeated story uh, in this hobby when we find things that are rare. A lot of times it is just an employee failing to destroy something and keeping it instead and then eventually it makes its way to us. Uh, so yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, so now I'm going to show you uh, everything that he got in this lot. Um, some of it is going to be hitting eBay fairly soon. Some of it will not be. Uh, he still hasn't decided what he wants to keep in his personal collection versus listing on eBay versus kind of holding on to it for a while and and uh, and trickling it out, which I honestly, as a collector, think is the right move, right? Uh, he doesn't want to flood the market, and I think that's smart. So, uh, so some of the stuff you'll be seeing soon, uh, some of it you may not, um, but uh, but yeah, let's let's get into it. So I didn't time this video for audio, so uh, I will do my best. These are just some photographs of animation cells from the show. Uh, up next is a photographs of a paper diorama that they made, that the set designers made for the show uh, to uh, lay out the actual live action stage. Uh, the, super, super cool. Um, up next is the, a, a PSA uh, pitch document or a pitch image for uh, a Mario Brothers P uh, Say No to Drugs PSA. This is the pitch image for Rad Racer. Uh, if you're familiar with the eBay auctions recently, a lot of, a lot of these first th uh, few things will look familiar. Uh, this is the image for the Double Dragon pitch, uh, as well as the image for California Games. Uh, up next is a couple uh, uh, pieces of set photography from the set, um, from when they were building the live action uh, set pieces. Uh, I believe up next this is just uh, some more f uh, photography of cells. Probably used in promotions. Uh, these are really cool. These are uh, large format negatives for the VHS and maybe DVD covers. I could be getting those backwards. But uh, yeah, for the covers for um, the releases for the various videos and DVDs. Except for one or two of these. I'm not 100% sure on one or two of those. Uh, again, more live action or uh, large format uh, pieces. The, the top image I've seen before, uh, this bottom Super Mario Brothers Power Hour imagery, that's the first time that I've ever seen that. Uh, this is a map of Nintendo Land from the Captain N pitch documentation. Uh, this kind of shows the uh, anatomy of a composite image back before the days of Photoshop. So when an artist would have to Xerox character upon character upon character upon character uh, and do minor edits and then, uh, and then layer those with uh, acetate. So this shows various uh, iterations of Xerox copying these two characters together. 
Um, and then uh, the last piece you'll see here is uh, an example of the uh, the acetate final. It's probably not the final image, but uh, but it gives you an idea because I mean Luigi's missing his foot there. Um, this is one of my favorite pieces in this collection. This is a it seems to be a full style guide for the primary characters for the Super Mario Brothers three iteration. So these are not original images; these are Xerox copies. Uh, but this walks you through how to draw Mario's eye or what he should look like when he's jumping or what he should look like when he's swimming. Um, various action poses for the title characters. Um, this goes through uh, Mario, Luigi, Peach, uh, Koopa, the Koopa kids. I don't get through all of it on this video, unfortunately, because I got distracted by conversation. Um, but these would be important for, especially when you're working with overseas animators, uh, if they, there was a language barrier and you needed to, um, to show a pose or, um, or just uh, make sure that they knew how to draw a character in a certain situation, uh, these style guides are invaluable. I love these, um, these King Koopa um, facial expressions super great. Uh, this is some set photography. Some of it might be might have been used for promotion. I'm not 100% sure, but um, a couple of these are definitely candid shots. Uh, the girl in the yellow there is actually the actress who played Winnie Cooper on Wonder Years. I uh, can't for the life of me remember her name, but I'm sure you know. Uh, so yeah, this is just some great set photography. All right, and the last thing we'll see here is some uh, some negatives for more promo images for the Power Hour, and then also you can see that's for uh, an Adventures of Link show. Um, I'm not sure whether or not that just references the um, the Zelda show or not, but uh, I certainly hadn't seen that image before. All right, gang, so that's about it for today. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing, or if you don't like what I'm doing, like and subscribe anyway. I know my frequency has gone way down recently as to releasing videos. Um, life just kind of gets in the way. You know, a lot of you know my personal life is somewhat hectic and requires a lot of my time, so I just don't have a tremendous amount of free time to spare uh, right now. Um, but, you know, I'm... I'm having fun doing what I'm doing, and I think that's sort of the point, right? Uh, so uh, I hope you like what I'm doing too, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, get out of my spot. Hey, go. That's right.